Yes, the animator of your 1937 audition cartoon, the creator of The Roadrunner and Coyote, your good friend and director, Chuck Jones. That's all right, man. Chuck, take us back to that day in 1937, Mel's audition. Well, it seems like only 50 years ago, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Tex Belly needed a drunken bull, and uh, so Treg Brown, you remember, brought you over, and uh, we looked at you. You didn't look drunk, and you didn't look much like a bull. For the very next minute, you had the whole thing going, and there were hiccuping and then rousing around, and the whole crew went flat up, and we had to be scraped up off the floor. Uh, I wonder... Since you, you're approaching 39 years old, what if you do a middle-aged drunken bull for us? Well, I'd be very happy to do a drunken bull. Where's the solemn mass, Chucky? Well, fantastic. All right. Now, here's a little bit of your 19... 37 debut cartoon, Picador Porky, featuring the drunken hiccups of Mel Blank. <laughs> of course, that was only the first of over 400 cartoons that you would bring to life at Warner Brothers. Now, many of those starring your personal favorite, Bugs Bunny. Now, Mel, you've got to tell us, how did you create that voice of Bugs Bunny? Well, they told me that he was a tough little stinker. So I thought maybe Brooklyn or the Bronx. Uh-huh. So I uh, put the two of them together, Doc. That's how I got the voice for Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, among those hundreds of characters you've done, I don't think any of them ever asked have ever been able to thank you. Until recently, I did a picture with Bugs Bunny, and I had him turn to the audience and say, Mel Blanc has done hundreds of voices, and uh, he was kind enough to give one of them to me. I know that uh, those hundreds of voices that you've sent out, including Bugs Bunny, have caused great happiness and pleasure to millions and millions of people. Thank you. So for us millions of people, to the hundreds of you, thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, Chuck Jones. Stick around now, because we're going to hear how Mel's many personalities saved his life.